Hello, it's Brick Bros UK, and even though the summer's not over yet, we already have the 2016 LEGO Star Wars Advent Calendar 75146. And like every year, this is the perfect fun pre-Christmas gift for any LEGO Star Wars fan, and it's reasonably priced, costing £24.99p, $39.99, and €29.99 for 24 LEGO gifts. And you can see some of them on the cool box graphic like White Chewbacca, a Silver Protocol Droid, Luke Skywalker, and many more, all having fun in the snowy Hoff and Tatooine Desert backdrop. And on the back there's an image showing you how the calendar opens up, so you can display the gifts, and we will show this off in a minute. So without stalling any longer, let's get this cool calendar open. And what you do is cut or peel off the sticky seals and then turn it over and fold down the flap to open it all up, like so. And now you get this awesome graphic from top to bottom of Tatooine, Naboo and Hoth with a Christmas starry night sky. And the 24 gifts are in their numbered doors on the box part and you pop these out as you run up to Christmas and when you build the gifts you can place them on the display area flat below and it's really fun watching the builds and minifigures grow as you get closer to Christmas. Now if you're planning on getting this calendar and don't want us to spoil which door has which gift please don't watch on and maybe watch one of our other videos but for everyone else let's get this started. And in door number one it's a mini model of Slave One. And it's a good build to start with its dark red, grey and dark green colour scheme. And the slope black piece makes a simple cockpit and on the side you get two movable blasters which are fun to twist and overall it's nice to get. And behind number two is a Bespin Guard and this is a really good minifigure to get because it's the same one from the Slave 1 set except its single faced head is different but we don't mind. And the blue legs and printed torso create a detailed uniform with blue cap and he's armed with a grey blaster. And at the back the nice printing continues and overall we are pleased to have this guard now and it's great he will be widely available as a calendar gift. Next up behind door number 3 it's another mini build the TIE Interceptor. And we say Interceptor because it's got 4 pointy slope black wings and in the centre the printed windscreen really makes the fighter. And its four wings are also flexible which is good for play and if we swivel to the back it's got a red light. And that's it, overall it's a simple model but it might go well with other mini TIE Fighter builds. Moving on at number four, it's our second minifigure at Death Star Trooper. And this guy has the detail printed black uniform and he comes armed with a small blaster and his special black helmet is a real bonus to get because they could have easily just given us a cap. And at the back there's more torso printing and he has a single faced head with headset. And overall this Death Star Trooper is a high quality minifigure to get and it will be interesting to see if this one will be in the upcoming new Death Star. And at number 5 it's a mini Hoff turret. And this build has a sloped snowy white base and the turret is simply made from a round brick and two dish pieces with a lightsaber hill in between as a turret. And you can move the turret which is good and in all it's a nice little simple build. Following on from the Hoff turret we have the Imperial Snowtrooper at number 6. And this guy's the same one from Hoff Attack minus the hip cape. And he's got a detailed printed torso and medium blaster. And on the back there's a life support pack with printed towel. And if we remove this there's more torso printing. He also wears the cool Snowtrooper helmet. And underneath is the usual angry face head. So it's not anything new but makes up the numbers. Next it's door 7 and you get an Imperial Officer Snowman, our first Christmas themed gift. And it's got a white base with brick built snowman and officer helmet which you could use elsewhere. And weirdly the carrot nose is red but we do like the snowball stud shooter on the blue brick. And overall it's great to get a festive gift. And behind number 8 is this Hoff dish cannon. And this is big enough for a minifigure to man it and it rests on a white base and you've got the silver dish and barrel piece above. And it's flexible for aim which is good and at the back are handlebars for a minifigure to grab onto and it's nice to get a build for the minifigures. And at number 9 is a Rebel Hoff Trooper. And you can get this guy in the UCS Hoff set so it's great to see him in the calendar with his nice printed legs and torso and awesome bearded head. He also gets a small blaster and at the back the good torso printing continues and he wears the white Hoff helmet with goggles. And overall it's kind of Lego to include this UCS Rebel Hoff Trooper in the calendar and we like him, especially the beard. 
and for the 10th gift you get a Republic Attack Cruiser. And this model has the right grey and dark red colour scheme with slope pieces on the side giving it a triangular construction. And the slope piece with binoculars in the middle creates a simple control tower and underneath is a plate for displaying it. And at the back we have the two engines which are made from hinge pieces. Overall this model adds to builds and we can't remember the last time if ever we saw this mini Republic attack cruiser. Following on at number 11 is a mini Droid Federation tank. And this isn't the best build with a dark tan and tan colour scheme with slope pieces making its base and there's grey blasters on the side and a tan bar as its turret which is crude and at the back a round piece represents its engine with a clear plate underneath to give it that hover look and the turret can rotate which is cool and overall we don't like the build but it is different and something extra and behind number 12 is a droid gunship which we haven't seen in mini model form before and it's a good creation with the grey and dark blue colour scheme and at the back of the gunship this round plate makes the main body with slope pieces and clips for blasters and the front is clipped on with the two joystick pieces representing cannons and underneath is a clear slider plate to help it land smoothly and that's a nice touch overall this gunship is accurate for a mini model and we always like to get new ships next up is door 13 and you get a battle droid and there's not a lot to say except you just get a normal tan droid with medium blaster and it's good to have for boosting your droid army. And at number 14 it's Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter. And the colour scheme's right with dark red wings and white middle and it's got a cool sleek design and we like the clear slope tile for its canopy. And underneath they've added a plate for displaying it. And at the back it's got a sloped extension of the cockpit and overall it's a cool mini model to get. And for 15 you get the Tan T4 and this is a simple design of the ship with white and red colour scheme. And at the front you've got the double cone section and a plate and stud middle which is clipped to the back where they made the 6 thruster engine. And this is the best bit in our opinion and it's simple but recognisable as the famous ship. And following on at door number 16 you get a silver protocol droid. And we think it's U3PO who is on board Tan T4 but this is still just a guess. But nevertheless it's so nice and exclusive to get and it's all silver with the protocol droid printed legs and torso. And you have the C-3PO droid headpiece with yellow eyes but of course in silver. And at the back the printing continues and in our opinion this has got to be one of the best gifts this year because it's exclusive and looks so nice and it's a must have for Star Wars fans. Moving on at 17 you get a gonk droid. And oddly it's brown instead of grey but this might be for Christmas. And at the front it's got its stud buttons and below it's got two clip feet. And it's a cool design with all its brown parts and pieces and we like it but don't think it's the right colour. And at 18 you get Jabba's Palace. And this small model has the tan base with slope pieces. And the main building has a dark tan dish roof and two other towers behind. And it's simple but recognisable as his palace. And for 19 it's Luke Skywalker in its final dual outfit. And this is really nice to get with his black outfit and printed torso. And he's also armed with his silver hilt green lightsaber. And at the back the printing continues and he has the dark tan hair piece and dual faced head. And if you missed his version of Luke last year you're in for a treat. And behind 20 you get the desert skiff and it's got a brown, dark tan and grey colour scheme. And there's a simple grille front and we like how they've added the plank on the side and at the back there's clips making up its two wings. And again it's another cool mini model. And following on at 21 is a stormtrooper and it wouldn't be Christmas without him and this regular trooper has good armour printing on his legs and torso and he comes with a medium blaster. And at the back that torso printing continues and he wears the nicely printed helmet and under this is the angry faced head. Overall we haven't seen many of these regular troopers this year so we appreciate his appearance in this calendar. Moving on at number 22 is this white imperial landing craft. And we thought this was a shuttle at first but it has a longer cockpit and fin behind in the style of a landing craft. And there's two movable flaps on the sides and at the back there's a trans blue light as the thruster. And overall we like the design and flexibility of this mini landing craft. And behind 23 is a sleigh, another festive gift. And this is a white sleigh with grill at the front. 
and there's some slope decoration on the sides and it's cool how they used hockey sticks for skis and these might be useful to use with your minifigures. And at the back there's a tan bag with ice skates and a hockey puck. And if we look underneath it is a shame they didn't add slider plates to help it in play. But overall it's a solid build and we like the hockey sticks and puck which you could use with the minifigures to stage your own game. And at last if you're still here we have number 24 and you get the Snow Chewbacca. And we love this unique festive version of Chewie in full white and the extra red and green coloured belt is a cool touch too. And his accessories include his stud bow caster with snowball ammunition and a green Christmas tree. And at the back the belt's colouring continues and overall he might not be useful as a normal Star Wars minifigure but as a Christmas one-off we love Snow Chewie. And now that all the gifts are open you can place them like we have on the display mat and it makes a cool Star Wars Christmas display. On a final note we love this year's calendar and feel it was better than last year's with new builds and the silver protocol droid Snow Chewbacca, Best Spin Guard and Death Star Trooper. And all of these will make nice additions to your collection and should be popular. But it is a shame we didn't get any of the Force Awakens characters or an evil character to mix things up. But we still like it especially for the run up to Christmas and we'd highly recommend it as it's good value too. Hope you enjoyed a Brick Bros UK review. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.